Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. We're here for another one of our mass making sessions. And today what I thought we'd do is make those little ribbon um, kind of banners. I don't really know what I would describe them as, but they're these. I mean, to me, they're just like a little vintage, um, like a seal. I mean, this obviously has got a wax seal on it, so that's why it really resembles that. But what I thought we'd do is make a bunch with some ribbons and then instead of using the wax seal, and now I can't find any in here, we would use our chipboard tiles that we made last week. So if you didn't see my video, there we go. If you didn't see my video last week where we made the chipboard tiles, then obviously, you know, that's on my channel as well. And all the mass making videos, they're all under in the mass making um, playlist that I've got on there. So you can check those out. But I mean, obviously, if you didn't make the chipboards or you don't want to use chipboards, then you could use little buttons and things. I've got a couple in here, I think, with buttons. I did just see one. There we go. Using a button instead. So just really super cute. And, you know, they just look really pretty, to be honest, once they're done. So if you're going to be crafting along with me today doing these, then what you're going to need is just a bunch of ribbons. I've just bought along a whole um, selection. Now, when I did make these kind of previously, I did sort of notice that, you know, you're not going to want a really thick ribbon. Um, probably this is the sort of typical width that you're going to want, which is just like half an inch, really. If you went for the much thicker ribbon, I did make one or two with the thicker ribbon. I'm not sure whether I've got any left. I might have used them. Um, oh, here we, here we go. This is the thicker ribbon. It looks okay. Um... I just don't think it works quite so neatly if I just kind of show you the two to compare. So, I mean, it's up to you, but I mean, obviously this definitely is like the maximum thickness and this is probably like three quarters of an inch. Yeah, it's about three quarters of an inch. So, I mean, you definitely wouldn't, I don't think, want to go any thicker than that because then it starts getting really, um, well, I guess just make makes a bit of a weird shape. Um, you know, kind of half an inch thickness for your ribbon is going to be... I think just perfect for these types of things. And when I did my kind of tutorial for these before, I also did um, dye a bunch of ribbons using my dilutions and some um, alcohol inks and things like that. But today I'm just using my regular coloured ribbons. I'm not kind of doing anything fancy with the colours or anything like that. Um, so let's get cracking and we'll just get making a couple. So we'll make a couple kind of in their entirety. And then we'll do um, like a sort of more assembly line style where we'll do all of the ribbons and then we'll kind of top them all with the chipboard tiles or buttons or, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be using. So all you're going to do is you want to get your ribbon. Now, again, up to you how big you do your ribbons. Um, just kind of judge it by eye, really. There's no, you know, I don't really have a kind of formula. I mean, probably that to me looks like a good size. You've got then quite a neat, you know, size loop type bit there. And you've got quite a good size little tail hanging down. Obviously, I haven't chopped this side yet. Um, if you want to know the measurement, that's probably like, oh, yeah, two, four, six, about six inches-ish. Like I say, that's not a kind of definite, um, you know, measurement or anything. Just literally just judge them by eye and, you know, play it by ear, really. Um, and of course, you could probably make them bigger or smaller or, you know, have you like, really. Now, I'm going to use my hot glue because that's really, really, really quick drying. Whoops, I've just now dropped my hot glue gun on the floor. That's not a good start, is it? As soon as we've started the video, it's already dropped on the floor. That will probably happen multiple times now through the video. OK, so, I mean, the hot glue, although is instant drying, you know, it does give you just a few seconds of you know, wiggle time to be able to pull your, your ribbon out and get it just how you want it. So that to me looks pretty good. And then obviously you can trim your little pieces off. I'm going to just actually trim them down that way. So I should have really, yeah. So I probably could have done with them a little bit longer, but that's fine. It's going to look fine, hopefully. So I'll just have a look through my little chipboard tiles. So we could have like this little clock on here just check whether I'd like a different one. I've got this bird, but that might be a little bit too massive on there. 
I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use one of these. And what I might do is just edge that around with some blue. So I'm just going to get my blue, um, what do you call it? Distress thing. So hold on a moment. And obviously during my tidy Fridays, I labeled them all with the colors. So, I mean, it's really great because aside from having to lift them up to actually get to them, it's brilliant because I now can see at a glance, obviously what color is what. Okay, let me get a little ink pad. Oops. Right, now try and find an ink pad that I've used previously with blue. Which I know that I have got some. Yep. Okay. And I'm just going to go around the edge with the blue. I mean, obviously this has been glossy accented. So, I mean, it's not really kind of picking up too much of the blue. But to be honest, you know, I don't want it you know bright blue completely if you see what I mean so to me that just feels just enough of a touch of blue around there hopefully that's not going to wipe off it might do let's have a look I don't think it's wiping off although you haven't said that maybe it is oh maybe that is oh well, that's a shame isn't it right okay let me just plan b Plan B, I'm going to just grab my stays on. So, hold on, i just get my Azure stays on. And I might be able to just do that because obviously the stays on stays on everything. So, there we go. There we go. I mean, obviously, you know, if I'd have thought about this, I could have, could have done the distressing before the glossy accents. But, you know, that's fine. The stays on is fine. And then all I'm going to do is just glue my little clock down. So, see which way up. Oh, they're quite tiny and my lighting's not brilliant. So, uh, <laughs> struggling to see which way was up. Okay. So, we just pop that down there on top of that little ribbon like that. Okay. And how cute does that look? It's so sweet, isn't it? So that's all there is to these. And, you know, they're just, yeah, super quick and easy. But I just think they're so sweet and you could use them on so many different things. So I'll make another one to just kind of show you or, you know, talk you through it. And then we'll just do some more like assembly line style. So again, just going to take the same sort of size of ribbon. And again, we just kind of hold it down like that, pinching, you know, together. Trim those little ends off like that. And then again, I'm just going to get my hot glue and just glue in there. Okie dokie. There we go. And then for the middle of that one, just have a look. Well, that's quite nice, but to be honest, I might keep that. Oh, I was going to say I was going to keep that for that, but actually maybe I will use it on here. Although it looks quite pretty on there too. Oh, it's such a tough decision. I've got plenty of this um, ribbon, to be honest, so I can use, I can use several of these um, different ones. So I'll just go with another clock. I mainly did clocks, I have to say. Um, yeah, so I'm being a bit boring really now because I'm just mainly using clocks. But So that's that one. Okie dokie. Aren't they just so gorgeous? So what I'll do now, I think, is just kind of assembly line style these. So all I'm going to do is literally <laughs> make a bunch of the ribbons and then top them with some of the chipboards and maybe some buttons and things like that. So just going to literally, you know, randomly kind of do some of the ribbons here. So like that. And to be honest, you know, you don't even have to kind of um, finish them off in one hit. If you haven't really got anything suitable to put on there, you know, you could always just leave your ribbons put together like this and then come back to them, you know, when you're ready to use them. And then you could top them with something to coordinate them with your project or something like that. 
you know, I think they're quite, um, well, quite a good sort of make ahead thing that you could kind of vary how you, you know, how you want to finish it off. Again, just cut those so they're going the same way. Okie dokie. My daughter's up here. She's being quiet as anything, isn't she? She's got a new game on her tablet. It's called Style... What's your game called? Um... I can't remember. Style something. We just put it on there this morning. And um, it's kind of like a... Super stylist. Super stylist. It's like a fashion um, game where you kind of dress the model and um, you can change the hair, you can change the accessories, the earrings and all that. You can change the clothes and oh, all sorts of things. And I mean, obviously, we just use the things that are on there for free. We, we don't buy any of the extras or anything, but um, there's tons of them. So, I mean, you know, you don't really need to kind of buy anything because there's lots on there to, to make all different looks. So she's quiet as a mouse now, playing with her game and now laughing. She's obviously put some horrible concoction together as the outfit. Um, yeah. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're doing brilliant and um, that your week has started off well. What are you working on? Are you doing some mass making with me or... Are you perhaps finishing off some projects or something? Thank you so much to everybody who watched the Pinterest Picks series. I had such a great time um, doing that series. It was just really lovely. I mean, it's really nice to just take inspiration from something and then just work with what you've got in your stash, but drawing your inspiration from something else. Um, you know, because <laughs> of course it saves you thinking up ideas constantly which is fantastic um but also i mean it's really nice to see what you can come up with and how your things can differ from the original idea so um yeah i had a really lovely time and i just really appreciate everyone who you know watched the series and you know was so kind saying that you enjoyed it i really had a lovely time filming it so um yeah maybe i will do another one of those another time and I know that Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies, in fact, I just shared one of her videos yesterday on my community posts um, tab. I'm kind of new to those community posts, so I've only done them a couple of times. But I just shared her video because, I mean, she's so talented. And um, her and I, you know, we do such different work, to be honest. I mean, hers, she does lots of mixed media and that type of thing. So she's also been doing some Pinterest things herself. Um, but they're just so completely different projects um, to mine, which is just, again, you know, awesome that we can all just take the same sort of concept and just totally kind of, you know, make it work for us, really. So, um, yeah, go and check over, check out her, um, her videos as well, if you haven't already. I know that lots of you do watch Barbara at 49 Dragonflies because, um, you know, often you mention in the comments... But yeah. Okie dokie. Oops. So my son and I, we finally finished How to Get Away with Murder. I mean, oh my goodness. We watched it for, um, I think it probably took us about six weeks or something to get through the entire series. It certainly went on for a long time. There were lots and lots of episodes. I can't remember now. Um, it might have been 15 episodes per season or something. And I think there were six, well, there were six seasons. I'm not sure about the number of episodes, but I'm sure we worked it out and we said, wow, we've spent, and it was some incredible amount, like 75 hours, 75 hours watching it. Um <laughs> So, yeah, we definitely had a lot of hours of entertainment watching that. Oh, we enjoyed it so much. And we literally only finished it yesterday. We had three left to watch yesterday. So we finished them last last night, yesterday evening. And, um, oh, they were so good. So good. I mean, they were kind of quite... Um, not hard to follow exactly, but when you first start watching it... It's got quite a lot of sort of jumping around. Sorry, I was just getting some hot threads 
um, you know, hot glue threads off of my finger. Um, there's often quite a bit of jumping around, particularly in the first season and the last season. Um, you know, which kind of made it a little bit hard to follow at times because it goes like back and forth in time and things like that. But I mean, once you kind of, you know, get into it and, um, you know, and not all the seasons have so much jumping around. So, I mean, of course, the ones that didn't have so much jumping around were much easier to follow anyway. Um, but it was very, oh, really, really good. Yeah, very good. We really enjoyed it. So, yeah. And thank you guys for all your recommendations because now I have loads of things in my watch list like waiting to watch. So we have lots of things to binge watch now. So I think we're going to start with The Alienist, um, which we've watched season one already. So I think we're going to go to season two and watch season two of that first. So we might start that, I don't know, one night this week anyway. Um, but yeah. I mean, honestly, what would we have all done without Netflix during this lockdown? It's just been so, <laughs> so brilliant to be able to have things to watch, hasn't it? I mean, wow, this would have just been awful. Well, to be honest, this would have been awful without, obviously, Netflix. And it would have been absolutely awful without the internet, wouldn't it? I mean, oh, we just are so lucky to have, you know, the internet now. Um... You know, I don't know how this would have been, to be honest, without the internet. But I mean, you know, from a point of view of A, being able to shop online has been incredible, you know. Um, B, obviously being able to, I mean, for me, obviously being able to continue working has been amazing. Um, but also being able to keep in contact with loved ones and things. It's just been oh amazing hasn't it and yeah I dread to think what it would have been like to be honest you know on all of those fronts um you know and as well I mean being able to kind of keep our brains kind of going because we've been able to you know learn new things still and you know like with the likes of Pinterest and YouTube and what have you it's kind of saved us all from going completely stir crazy I'm sure so yeah it's um really been quite a godsend hasn't it it's a really dark dismal day out there today so I apologize if the video is a little bit on the dark side I think maybe this year I will try and kind of get some sort of lighting going um on my desk it's really tricky because I've got a little lamp on here you know on my desk but to be honest I think it really kind of actually makes the viewing worse rather than better um because it just gives a sort of very yellowish kind of light, really. So I'm not quite sure that that's ever very helpful. I mean, I probably need to actually invest in some proper lighting. Um, but they're quite big, a lot of those lights. And of course, you know, <laughs> as you know, my area is um, pretty cramped anyway with all the stuff. So, you know, I haven't really got room to have like massive great big lights piled around everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'll have to kind of probably have a look at that, but yeah, probably not for a little while yet. So we'll see. What else have we been doing? Oh, at the weekend, we had a nice weekend, just went to the park with my daughter on Saturday. Um, then yesterday did a walk. I mean, even things like going for a walk, to be honest, you know, just feel so unfit and you know the kids are kind of saying the same things that to be honest you know although we've been trying to keep active and go for walks and you know what have you I mean the weather hasn't been brilliant lately for walking so we haven't really got out as much as we would have liked but this lockdown has really sort of taken its toll because everyone's feeling really kind of unfit and you know, very tired and, you know, you do like a 20 minute walk and you feel quite shattered afterwards. You just think, well, the long term effects of, you know, these lockdowns and things, I'm sure are going to be terrible, aren't they? And felt for years, I'm sure. There we go. Okay. Well, what with that and the and the food thing? 
you know, with everyone just kind of absolutely fed up with all of the the food. There we go. Okie dokie. I've still been filming my beginners series, so I know I've talked about that now a couple of weeks, I think I've mentioned it. Um, yep, I'm still filming that, I know it's dragging on. Um, because I'm not just filming that, I'm filming kind of another couple of things that I also had, you know, on the go as well. Um, yeah, so it's kind of dragging on, but hopefully I'm coming to the end of filming with that. But, you know, like I say, it probably won't be up for a few weeks yet, but because I've got a few other things that I want to do and, um, you know, then kind of obviously get all the videos uploaded and what have you. But yeah, I mean, hopefully that's going to be really fun. And um, lots of you have expressed that, you know, you would find that of interest. So hopefully it's going to be, you know, helpful to really lots of people. So, and I mean, of course, there's lots of other beginners um, series or videos <laughs> out there too. Um, you know, mine, of course, won't be the only ones. There's lots on there already. I mean, I did have a beginner's, um, uh, well, just a standalone video, beginner's standalone video that I put up, oh gosh, a long time ago, perhaps a year ago or something. Um, so that's got some handy tips and things on it as well. Um, don't know where that's likely to be on my channel, but... <laughs> If you just search Shabby Dabby Doodah Beginner's Junk Journal, I'm sure it would come up in the search. Um, just giving some tips, really, of what I think are quite good things to start with, i.e., you know, tools and, um, you know, if you're just buying sort of a few items, the items that I think would be quite handy to buy. So, yeah, that's up there anyway. And as I say, I mean, you know, there's lots of different videos that... You know, there's loads of different people who've got lovely beginner videos and things. So mine is definitely not kind of going to be, you know, a first or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, hopefully it might be done, you know, slightly differently in a, you know, slightly different way. And to be honest, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I just think I can watch the same project. But by, say, you know, four different people, I mean, a bit like Rachel's weekly challenge that she's doing. And you could watch, you know, four different people do that same challenge. And although we're all making the same thing, essentially, we all have our own. I'm just going to move these uh, ribbons out of the way whilst I'm whilst I'm doing these. Um, we all have our same way, uh, not same. We all have our different ways, sorry, of working. And so although we're essentially all doing the same project, everyone's way of working and everyone's projects are going to look completely different. We're obviously, of course, all using different um, you know, papers and, you know, things like that. But also we've all got different techniques that we use. So, you know, still now, I just think you could watch four or five different people doing the same project, but you're going to pick up different things from different people, which is all going to be, you know, ultimately, it's all going to be really helpful, isn't it? So, um, yeah. And talking of Rachel, I, I watched her... She she did like a retake of her week seven. And it was interesting because I had noticed that she hadn't put a week seven up. And I thought, oh, what's happened to Rachel's weekly challenge this week? Because I was looking out for it, you know, because obviously I'm dipping in and out. So I'm looking always to see whether it's, you know, um, a week that I would really like to join in. Anyway, I didn't see it last week or anything. So I just thought she must have been busy and, you know, not had time to make it. This is Rachel at Roxy Creations, for anyone who doesn't know who I'm talking about, which I'm sure that you've all watched Rachel and probably do know who I mean. But yeah, anyway, and um, I just watched this morning. She'd done week seven and she called it a remake, which I thought was a bit strange, but I thought, you know, perhaps she's done a me and she's lost the video or by accidently deleted the video or something like that. Anyway, I think she must have had, you know, burnt herself and um I think you know there must have been one or two sort of unkind people making sort of unkind comments and to the point that I think she literally took her video down and has redone her video like so as to hide her her burn I think was you know kind of what I could could gather which 
I mean, I can't believe that there's such mean people sometimes. I mean, thankfully, they really are in the minority, um, you know, and I mean, obviously, I mean, I feel so blessed to be part of this junk journal community because I just think we've got so many lovely, kind people on here. And we're all like-minded people. We're all here just to have a nice time, share our knowledge, you know. And, I mean, I'm always kind of so flabbergasted by the amazing ideas that people come up with in the comments and things. And people are so generous sharing their comments and things like that. And their tips and techniques. And, you know, we're all just, you know, this is just like a great big giant place to pool our ideas, isn't it? And share our, share our ideas for our love of paper crafting and junk journals, really. Um, and it just, it feels so sad that just every now and then you just get those odd people who just obviously have to be mean. <laughs> it just, well, never fails to amaze me, to be honest. I just, and to be honest, you know, what's so sad, and I'm sure that Rachel probably felt this way, you know, you can try and shrug that odd one comment off, you know, because the other, you know, 15 or 20 people have been so nice but for some reason that one mean comment is the one that sticks in your head more than anything else and that's really sad isn't it especially when you're doing something you know that's so lovely as you know sharing a joy of crafting like we all are here um you know, that just seems really, really sad. I mean, I just always think probably those mean people maybe are not part of the the normal junk journal community because, you know, I think gen genuinely everybody in our community is just amazing. So, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, isn't that just so sad? She literally had to take the video down and redo it and upload a whole new video. So very, very, very sad. Anyway. So, Rachel, if you just happen to watch this video, oh, I really did feel for you. And, I mean, obviously, of course, I did make a comment on her video that I then watched this morning. Um, you know, but, yeah, not not really good. Right. Let's just cut that down. Okay. Okay, I might as well use this whole piece of ribbon up because there's not much here left. Which again is kind of a shame because I love this ribbon. It's that gorgeous teal colour again and part of me just wants to hoard this. Oh, what is wrong with me with the hoarding? Who knows? But Oh, I do laugh because obviously so many people in the comments say that, you know, you're just the same. So that's comforting to know. Comforting to know that I'm not the only hoarder. I mean, the irony is I even do find myself hoarding digitals. You know, that I can just print out more. What is that about? You know, not wanting to cut into a digital that, you know, you can literally just run off another. I mean, that's just literally crazy, isn't it? Literally crazy. And I apologise. I've suddenly now become aware that I've said the word literally probably about 30 times in the last five minutes. So... <laughs> I'm obviously having one of those days where I'm overusing words constantly. There we go. Okay, so not much ribbon there left. <sighs> Again, I mean, I have this thing that I just want to hoard this because it's so pretty. But, I mean, seriously, other than kind of like stapling it somewhere like this, there's not a lot that I can do with this. So I'm going to be strong and I'm just going to bin this. Yep, there it goes. There it goes in the bin. Right, so I'll just make one or two with this um, bigger, you know, wider ribbon. This is like, yeah, just like over half an inch. I mean, if I just put it next to that, can you see there? It's just kind of slightly bigger. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, actually, that doesn't look too bad, but I would say this is, you know, pretty much kind of as wide as you'd want to go with these because much wider than this, it's just going to start to look really, you know, not quite so attractive, not quite so nice. There we go. 
Okay. Oops. Okay, right. Oh, I saw my mum and dad yesterday as well. So um, we stopped and we had a cup of tea in their driveway. So, I mean, it was quite cold, but um, <laughs> my dad just pulled up a chair and sat sort of in their hallway on the chair. My mum kind of just stood up um, and we just sat sort of on their, in their driveway around their kind of doorstep type area. Um, so that was really nice because at least we were able to kind of see them because, you know, hadn't seen them for a little while. I mean, we have seen them once or twice on a walk and we've all socially distanced, you know, on the walk. Um, but yeah, it was kind of nice to just pop and have a cup of tea with them. So, I mean, hopefully life's going to start to return to a bit more of a sense of normal soon and, um, you know, we can actually visit them inside their house instead of in their driveway. That would be really nice. Honestly, I mean, you do kind of just miss like the, you know, the smallest things, don't you? And, you know, it is just those types of things, isn't it? Just wanting to go into kind of your mum and dad's houses or I know lots of you ladies are, you know, grandparents and things. I'm sure it must be the same for you. Maybe going into, you know, your grown-up children's houses and seeing your grandchildren or, you know, possibly them visiting you with, with your grandchildren and things. I mean, it really is very, very hard, isn't it? So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're not kind of a million miles from that now. Ah, oh, who knows? Who knows? Right. Okay, so those are those wider ones. I'll just probably do like the three of those. So um, let me just lift them up and show you. So they're cute, aren't they? Right, let's pop some of the tiles and things onto these because we've got quite a few now. So I'll just move these other couple of ribbons out the way. Okay. Oh, I might just do a couple in this colour. Let's just do a couple in this. Because I quite like this colour. It's, um, you know, nice and neutral. Okay, oops. There we go. Okie dokie. So just trim that down. Okay. There we go. You okay, sweetie? Hold on, darling. Oops. Let's just pop that round there like that. Sorry, I'm just going to pause the video because my daughter's saying, can I pause for a minute? Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So, and I'll just do one more in this colour. So, I mean, like I say, even if I don't actually kind of do all of these, like um, finish them off, I've now got a whole bunch here ready to use, which is awesome. So, okay, there we go. Trim that down. Yeah, I was hoping that we were going to go for a walk later, but um, the weather's looking pretty rainy actually at the moment. It's not raining, but it certainly looks like it's going too soon. I think we're going to have some rain. Mm. Okay, right. Let's get rid of those out of the way. So let's just decorate a couple of these up with some of those lovely tiles that we made last week. So let's just bring some in. And of course I did make those larger square tiles as well. But they're really quite pretty, aren't they? They look they look quite pretty on there. With this one, what I might do is um let's have a look. Oh, I wonder whether I could just distress the ribbon a little bit. I mm, don't know whether that's just going to look hideous, to be honest, but let's give it a try. Just thought if we could make that a bit more green, it would just tie in a little bit better with that tile. Hold on. Yeah, that looks 
quite nice to be honest now. So I'll just move those out of the way. Okay. So, I mean, last week I was saying about, you know, they don't always have to be the round ones. So if you didn't have a round punch or, you know, you didn't fancy cutting out, you know, by hand the round ones, you can just, you know, use them as little sort of square or rectangular ones. They look really quite nice. I mean, this maybe needs a little bit more trimming down. So I'll just cut it down slightly more because it was perhaps a little bit too big. But I mean, I think they look really quite nice even being rectangular. So that just goes on there. It's sweet, isn't it? And um, yeah, goes to show that you don't necessarily need them to be round. So I just put that on there. And I think these are such a lovely way to use your ribbons. You know, they're really, really, really cute. There we go, like that. So I'm just going to do a few of those now with the tiles and then we'll use one or two to kind of demonstrate, you know, where you would or how, how perhaps you'd be able to use some of these. So do I like that one on there? I'm not sure. Did I say about having the butterfly on this? I quite like the butterfly on there, to be honest. It's quite nice, isn't it? I'll just check. Oh, it's a tough decision because I quite like it on that one and I quite like it on that. I think I prefer it on that little velvet one, actually. Again, I mean, I'm just using my hot glue because it's really nice and quick. And I mean, of course, if you're doing a video, you don't want to be taking too, too long. Um, but, you know, you could use your Fabri-Tac or, you know, other glue. You don't have to be using the hot glue. It's just, that's really nice and quick. And then it's just done and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, well, we might as well use all the tiles that we've got sat here. So again, just kind of deciding which one to put. It's quite nice on there. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then... Oh, which one do I want this one on? Yeah, these are a little bit addictive to make, I think. <laughs> They're, um, you know, I mean, I just love quick, easy things. And so these are awesome because, of, you know, of course you can make tons of these in a pretty short time. I mean, other than the fact that I've been using my hot glue and if I were to do these downstairs on the sofa, you know, watching a movie, I'm not quite sure how I'd go about hot gluing and where I'd put my glue gun. But aside from that, they're quite a good TV thing. Um, I mean, you could even stitch these, to be honest, if you wanted to do them in front of the TV and not use glue. You could just stitch these together and then save your glue in of the center on for the next day. That would be kind of another option. Okay. They're lovely, aren't they? Really, really, really cute. I'll try and do one of each colour, but I don't know whether I um, will end up doing one of each colour or not. But that's probably, you know, that would probably be more fun, wouldn't it? If I actually do complete one of each colour rather than having to just watch all totally the same colours being done. There we go. Okay. So again, I mean, this one perhaps is a little bit on the big side, so I'll just chop it down a bit more. Like that. And I mean, even though it's been glossy accented, you know, it still chops down fine. It's not a problem to um, cut into it at all. So maybe that on that purple is quite nice. There we go. I just love having things like this ready to go as well because um, I think these are the types of things that can just make quite a difference to your journal. And if you've just got a bunch ready, 
you know, it can just make making your journal so fast. Although, that being said, <laughs> I'm on a bit of a mission at the moment because um, I thought, actually, do you know what? I don't seem to really make many journals anymore because obviously, you know, where I'm doing videos all the time and, um, you know, we're making things all the time, actually doing, you know, making actual journals and completing them, I just don't seem to have made so many. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a bit of a point of trying to make a couple of journals soon. So, you know, actually kind of making them, starting them <laughs> and finishing them completely. You know, be that on camera or, or off camera. I need to just actually make a few journals. So um, rather than just always making the ephemera for them. I mean, I think that's mainly because obviously where I'm doing videos, I'm just going to chop this down a bit more, where I'm doing the videos, obviously, you know, we're trying kind of different things all the time. So then, of course, actually making, you know, the journals themselves is a bit of a sort of time consuming thing that then there's just not really time for by the time I've done, you know, lots of videos. Um, but you know I love making the journals so well I mean I love it all I love making the ephemera I love making the journals love everything love chatting with you guys <laughs> yeah love it all um so definitely I'm not complaining at all but it was just a sort of observation that I thought oh you, do you know what I don't feel like I've actually even made a journal for several weeks now so perhaps it's time to make a couple I think that's got some sort of pink around the edge of that so probably best I don't put it on there but oh that looks good on there doesn't it let's just pop it on there okay there we go okay Right, sorry about this. I've just got to thumbprint over the um, iPad for my daughter to install a different game. Oops, mate. It's not working. It's probably not working because I've probably got glue all over my thumb. It's working. <laughs> it was probably... Whose thumbprint's this? Because the glue's probably all over there making my thumbprint completely unrecognisable. <sighs> there we go. Okay, so we'll just do a couple more, just finish off the tiles that we've actually got here. And then we'll, um, I keep pulling this green one in. I'm not quite sure which one to put the green one on, actually, whether to put it on the green ribbon. I quite like it on the blue ribbon. Um, or do I quite like it actually on the brown? I think I quite like it on the brown. That's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, again, it's hard to see where the top of that clock is. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter, to be honest, once it's on there. Probably not that noticeable whether it's up the right way or not. But Okie dokie. Yeah, I wonder if those cinemas are going to open any time soon, you know, if we come out of lockdown. Because, I mean, again, obviously no films, I guess, have been being made. So, you know, does that mean... The cinemas still won't open. Will the cinemas open but just, you know, rerunning old films? I don't know. I mean, you know, if you've watched me for a long time, you'll know that we used to go to the cinema all the time, sort of pre-lockdown. So, oh my goodness, we are missing the cinema so much. And it's one of the things that we really are looking forward to um, opening back up. So really hope that, you know, that's going to be open sometime you know, sooner rather than later. But yeah, who knows? Because as I say, I mean, if there's no films, I guess, coming out, then they're not really going to be a very viable business, aren't they? You know, for, well, in the short term, I mean, until films start getting made again, I'm thinking. I mean, they did kind of open before, again, re-showing kind of older films a bit. But, I mean, of course, you know, people don't really want to pay sort of full cinema prices to just watch, a, you know, an old film be shown. Uh, you know, because it's not really cheap going to the cinema, is it? So, 
watching a film that's been on TV possibly, you know, several times already. That's just not really, you know, not really great, is it? Okay. Right, just a couple more now, so um, you'll be pleased to know. Okay, I've got another one of those little sort of rectangular ones. Again, I'm just going to cut that down slightly because it's quite long. Okay, again, just kind of ink that up a bit more. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, so I mean, I've got a ton there still left to do. And I'll just kind of show you quickly how they're going to look with, you know, buttons and things. I mean, like I say, I had done a tutorial for these anyway. So, you know, many of you might have seen the original tutorial. So I'm just picking those bits of hot glue off because they're a little bit bumpy. Um, so many of you, oops, many of you probably saw the original anyway, or possibly, possibly saw the original anyway. Um, but I'll just grab a couple of buttons just to show you, you know, how they would look. So, for instance, let's get the green one. Could just have that little button in there and that just looks so cute, doesn't it? So, like that. Okie dokie. That's that one. Um, just see what other buttons I've got here. Got this one. I mean, that's really pretty, isn't it? So, I mean, the super simple kind of um, embellishment, but to be honest, you know, really, really pretty. Uses up some of your buttons, uses up some of your ribbons, uses up some of your chipboard if you're using the chipboard tiles. Um, you know, oops. And they just look really, really gorgeous, don't they? I mean, you could probably finish them off with other things. I've got some bows here. I don't know what this is going to look like, but... I mean, possibly not that particular combination, but hold on, I've got another one here. You could have a little bow on there. That's quite pretty. Well, let me just see how that looks on the, the same ribbon. I mean, how cool does that look? So, I mean, that's one of the bows that we've made on a previous mass make. So let's glue that down and see. Because once it's glued in place, it will it will stay without needing my fingers on the um, in the way. So, like that. How gorgeous is that? That's super, oh, super pretty. Oops. Um, that's super pretty, isn't it? Really, really, really pretty. it looks so cute doesn't it I mean you could probably still even put then maybe a little pearl or something in there not sure about a button but hold on oh that button's yeah a little bit too big let me just move these buttons out of the way see if I can find a tiny pearl um you know in the right colour oh here we go so I've got one of those blue-green type pearls. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? I don't know whether you can really see that. It's it's pretty tiny. Like that. Could just have the little pearl in the middle every time I move my hand away. Obviously, it slips down. But, I mean, how cute does that look? I mean, to be honest, I love it with or without that pearl. But let's add that pearl. Just... Um, Oops. Okay, try and hot glue there. And just pop that pearl in. Okay. How gorgeous is that? It looks so sweet, doesn't it? So, I mean, they're really, really simple, aren't they? And just really lovely to have on hand. So, let's just quickly now see how they'd look, you know, actually being used on something. So, I did bring a couple of things along with me because I thought, you know, we can then have a bit of a play so I've got just a journaling card here that I've just you know made um let's just round the corners of the journaling card oh, where's my corner rounder now 
No, now that, oh, there it is. I knew it was here, but I just couldn't spot it straight away. So just round the corners there like that. Oops. That seemed to not round. Oh, it did round, but it had doily in front of it. So, okay. And then we'll just ink that up. just ink up the back as well like that okay how gorgeous does that look just like that but to be honest you can then obviously finish it off with just one of these little pieces so just try and find the right color I mean I quite like that one to be honest um or I've got this one which is you know a bit more neutrally that's quite nice. We could have this. It's a bit of a contrast in one. So, I mean, you could put it kind of up on the corner like a, um, or, you know, almost like a tab. Or just like in your in your card, you know. Um, I think either looks really nice. I quite like it there as like a little decorative piece actually in amongst, in amongst the journaling card. So I'm going to put that there. How gorgeous does that look? so cute isn't it I mean they're really 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 pretty aren't they and I mean obviously although this is sticking up it's going to be flat completely flat in your journal because I mean of course that's just ribbon it's just going to squash down so you don't have to worry about it bulking your journal out or anything like that because it's you know it's a pretty flat piece to be honest I mean actually it's sticking up more from these little bits of hot glue now that are all over my mat than it is from anything else but how gorgeous does that look really really pretty doesn't it let me just see if i've got any other things that i could just pop a um one on so hold on okay so i've got this one as well so this is kind of like a long skinny tag i guess again it's just one that you know was just in my to finish to finish box so again i'm just going to ink around there like that and then just ink around on the back as well. Okie dokie. Oh, that sky is looking blacker and blacker. I'm sure it's going to rain in a moment. Um, and then obviously, oops, I mean that blue one's really pretty on there. Or could try and match it up. Here we've got some kind of purple in there. So we could try and kind of bring in the purple a little bit. Or oh, maybe not doesn't look quite as um, nice as I thought it was going to look that purple but could have that there could you use that one with the bow sort of double bow effect I mean they're just really pretty aren't they and you know doesn't that just finish that off beautifully I do like it with that blue so I just need to decide whether I want to have this one with the bird or this one with the double bow I quite like the double bow to be honest wonder if I just want a bit of lace on this because I haven't got any lace on there it's looking a little bit sort of on the naked side so hold on let me just naked side <laughs> my daughter is obviously she's got her headphones on so she obviously can't really hear most of what I'm saying but she must have just heard me say that and thought oh my gosh what's mum talking about now what are you talking about I'm <laughs> just saying that that looked a little bit naked there we go <laughs> well, it doesn't want to get dressed up. Oh, that's quite pretty like that. So I think just going to literally run some hot glue down here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to cut this off here. Okay. And then I'm just checking whether I want to have any other lace like coming out from that little bow I mean I know that just sounds really strange but <laughs> that just looks really pretty kind of hanging off there doesn't it so right just want to kind of try and have that stay there and I'm just going to then hot glue this down at the back oops so I mean again I don't hot glue obviously that top part down you know that's the loop and I just leave that so I just hot glue 
the sort of center, what I would call the center of it, where it's got the solidy, solidy part. So like that. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? And to be honest, I mean, I didn't actually think that tag looked very nice previously. Um, but I mean, hence it was probably in my unfinished box because I wasn't that happy with it. Um, but I absolutely love it now and it just looks so scrumptious and vintage. And, you know, that was just literally from adding that little decorative piece at the top. So, yeah, I mean, I think they're just really, really, really pretty and, you know, can definitely do a whole bunch of different things with them. So I hope that you like them and, um, you know, have really lots of lots of fun if you decide to make some. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day and hopefully see you tomorrow. So thanks very much. See you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.